These are some of the best areas to live in Tampa. Hi, I'm Mark from the Fazzini Group, and we make these videos so that you can make better decisions about buying or selling in the Tampa Bay area. And if you are looking to buy or sell, I run a real estate team. We've helped many clients over the years. We'd be happy to help you, whether that's just advising you on areas to start searching or the process or helping in any way we can. Feel free to reach out to us. The number is below and our email as well. So first we're gonna talk about places that allow you very quick beach access. Being close to the beach is, is oftentimes one of the number one things that our clients say they're looking for in the area. And if you want to find a home in an area with great beach access, I, I really think you need to target your search in the Pinellas County area. So some people are from places where you know they would drive two hours to get to a beach. So proximity to the beach and access is all relative. But in my mind, I kind of think of it like if you can get there in less than 10 to 20 minutes and you could you know go after work and watch the sunset, that's that's, that's pretty good beach access. So here on the map, you have areas in the north section of Pinellas County like Tarpon Springs. As you, you go down through Palm Harbor, Dunedin, then you get to the Clearwater area, of course. And then you can go as south down to like, you know, Largo, Seminole, St. Petersburg. You're gonna have really good access if you kind of stay near the coastline within the 10 or, you know, 15 minute drive there. Next, we're gonna talk about the areas with the most new construction communities. If you're looking for a, a newer home, you're probably gonna have to look closer to the Tampa Bay area, the, the north northwest areas, places like Lando Lakes, Wesley Chapel, lots of new construction options off of 54. Basically, anywhere in that Trinity and northeast area, you'll start to find a lot of different options. Some of the most popular ones, Starkey Ranch, you know, you have Epperson uh, with, with the amazing lagoon. There's a lot of options up in that north, north Tampa area. Now the third category we're going to talk about is, is places where you can play a lot of golf. So there are a lot of golf courses in the Tampa Bay area and you have a lot of options. But I will say one area that provides maybe the most options of them all is kind of that North Pinellas, Palm Harbor, Oldsmar area. If you do live in that area, you have probably 20 golf courses within a 20 minute drive and you have great private clubs some of the best in the county and you have great public clubs as well you have lots of options so in any given weekend or weekday you could choose from a good 10 to 20 courses that you probably would love playing and you have that variety to keep going back and forth from so next category is access to the downtown area. So obviously, you know, there's no better place than like South Tampa or West Shore to get to downtown, but the houses there are generally very expensive. So there are some other areas like Brandon that are very affordable and have quick and easy access to downtown Tampa. Um, you could even be in St. Pete and take a quick trip over, you know, the Gandhi Bridge to, to get to downtown. And then other popular areas, if you want a little bit more land, you could be out in Lutz, Odessa, you know, anywhere over in that north or northeast area of Tampa, you find some good options. And what really provides that access is the, the different roads and, you know, bridges that allow that quick access to the area. So, you know, any anywhere that's close to the, the Veterans uh, Expressway or, you know, some of these other options that you'll see on the, the map, those will provide you quick and easy access uh, if you have a commute to downtown. Now, the last category is good family friendly areas. So I love North Pinellas. If you have a family, there's so many different neighborhoods to choose from. It's typically known as a little bit slower than, you know, the areas close to downtown. Um, you have lots of different neighborhoods, gated communities, all, all of those things. Great for families. There's also a lot of options in the North Tampa area. So you'll have different, you know, golf course communities or uh, gated communities, and then even areas that have some land where you're gonna have more of that community feel and they'll be very good for the family. The, the rule of thumb is, you know, the further away you get from the, the city, you'll typically get into more of those suburb options and you'll, you'll have that more family friendly feel. So if you watch this video to the end, you probably are looking to buy or sell in the Tampa Bay area in the near or long future. So if you are, we'd be happy to help. We should be your first call when you wanna find out what areas to target or affordability or the best options for making a purchase happen. So we've helped a lot of clients. We'd love to help you and answer any questions you have. Feel free to reach out to us at the number below, text, email, call. We'd be happy to help.